I know many of you are worried and wondering and asking themselves, does a cashless society have anything to do with the end times? Now, the whole world is going cashless nowadays. Does this have anything to do with the end times? You see, it's often uh, postulated that uh, in order for the Antichrist or the beast to control all buying and selling, as the Bible says in Revelation uh, 13, 17, I'll go there in just a bit, a cashless society will be necessary during the tribulation. As long as people are using cash, transactions can be, com uh, ca can be completed in private. But if all currency becomes electronic, then every transaction can be monitored. Then, uh, <laughs> let's see, let's see this, where is this spoken in the Bible. Uh, Revelation 13, 17, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that has had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him count that has understanding count the number of the beast, for he is the number of a man, and his number is 600, 3 score and 6. Okay, yes, I'm sure you have heard all this. And you ask yourself, now, is this cashless society leading us there? To some point, I may say yes. And to other point, I can tell you also, it was still end times even before cashless society. Yes, to some point, it's leading to that. Because uh, I believe this is a system which the, the Antichrist will use to be able to, you know, uh, hold people captive that they cannot be able to buy and sell. But also remember, even before even before time immemorial, in the time of, of the Apostle Paul, there was not even a, you know, tangible cash. It was just uh, some things here and there. There were butter trade and all those kind of things. And uh, of course, even if there was money, it was not digital. So we have to understand they were still living in the end times. Okay? So be that as it may, a cashless society is, uh, is, is, is not... Is not necessary to fulfill the conditions of Revelation 13 7 or does that help us in showing us that we are uh, that the end of is is near or something like that because it was already near even before the whole cash thing and uh, you know became uh, cashless and even before money became almost everything you know now nowadays like money is almost everything okay if you don't have money you you you're messed up we have to understand it was still there even back in the days. So no matter how much the cashless society is pushing the agenda nearer and nearer, but you have to remember that it was there even back in the days. And I want to show you some proofs that for sure it was there back in the days. Now, you have to understand that, uh, number one, that the end times started with the resurrection and ascension of Jesus. When Jesus ascended, that's when the end times started, okay? And uh, we have been in the end times for the last 2,000 years. And Paul describes his contemporary generation as those of whom the culmination of the ages has come. You remember what Paul said? You remember this in First uh, Corinthians? First Corinthians 10, verses 11. He talked about this. He said, now all all these things happen to them for examples and they are written for our our admonition upon upon whom the ends of the world are, are come are you seeing the tense here are come so he was also putting himself as one of the people in the end time so end time started a long time okay he wants timothy of conditions in the last days as though timothy will encounter them <laughs> Do you remember how Paul warns Timothy? Let me look for that verse. Uh, uh, 2 Timothy 3 verses 1. He's warning Timothy as if the, the things are at that, that time. Okay? See? This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own self, covetous, bored, uh, blast, uh, uh, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, hearty, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God, having a form, form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. See what he's telling Timothy. From such... Turn away. Now, he's telling Timothy to turn away because he's also in the end times. He's not telling Timothy to tell people who will be in the end time to that time that they can turn away. He's telling them that now turn away from these people. 
Are you seeing the point? So it means the end times was already there even by that time. The end times started a long time, okay? And uh, also in Peter's sermon, okay, on the day of Pentecost, you remember the day of Pentecost? During that sermon which Peter gave on the day of Pentecost, mm -hmm, he identified the pouring out of God's spirit upon believers as a sign of the last days. You know, did you see that? In the book of Acts uh, 2, verses 17, did you see that Peter was saying we're in the last days? Okay, uh, Acts. <laughs> Acts uh, 2, 17. I'm used to always fast something. Fast this, fast that. I'm used to the Pauline post epistle so much. And it's good. Now, see what Paul, uh, Peter is saying. And it shall come to pass in the last days says the Lord, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, and on my servants, and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy, and I will show you wonders in heaven above, and, and signs on the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The, the sun shall be uh, turned into darkness. Okay? And the moon into blood before that day, great day, notable day of the Lord. Okay? And he speaks about all these things. See? Look at this verse. Verse 16. After he, before he even speaks about this, he says, This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Are you seeing this? All these things. We are in the last days. That is what Peter was telling people. He was telling them, guys, you know what? We are in the last days. So it means the last days started a long time. Okay? And also James, in James 5.3, he warns the rich that they are holding, holding wealth in the last days when they should be uh, heaping, uh, helping the poor. He's telling them, you, you're keeping the, 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 this wealth for yourself instead of helping the poor. We are currently living in the end times. Cash or no cash. <laughs> you understand the point? So, the end times started a long time. A very long time. So, you have to understand this. And yes, no matter how much the cashless society is pushing us towards that agenda, but you have to understand we have been living in the end times. And something else which will tell you the end times started a long time is... Uh, we have to understand the conditions which are described in, uh, in uh, Revelation 13 verse 17 which I uh, read to you that no man might buy or sell. Those conditions also existed in the first century without a cashless society. Remember in Asia Minor, the area of the seven churches to whom the book of uh, Revelation is addressed? Now, if a tradesman wanted to practice his craft, he would have to be a member of the trade guild, guild or guild or something like that. And each guild had a patron deity, deity, okay? And in order to be a member of the guild, the tradesman would have to participate in worship of the deity, okay? And if a Christian tradesman refused to worship the deity and join the guild, he was prohibited from practicing his trade and thus unable to earn a living, effectively preventing him from buying and selling. This is the background. Okay, this, this is basically the background of Revelation 13, 17. There was a certain deity and there in the, even in the last, last time of the end times, there will also be another deity who will try and tell people, unless you have blah, 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 you will not be able to buy and sell. So we have to understand that in modern communist countries, Christians have sometimes been black, uh, blackballed. And the authorities make it clear that uh, no one is allowed to buy or sell to Christians or, or no, one is able, uh, to, no one is allowed to help them with any donations. I'm sure you've seen these kind of things. And if Christian parents are uh, uh, um, incarcerated, no one is uh, allowed to help their children. And uh, also other groups have been persecuted in this way too. You have to understand that. And uh, the cashless society is not needed to keep certain people from doing business. 
but yes in some point it will be a major thing in the very 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 final seconds very final seconds of the end times okay you have to understand that so w whether money right now cashless or not cashless it's it's already been there because uh, since 2000 years ago it's been there because we have to understand also even in a cashless society there will always be ways around the system how people can survive like a butter trade you remember butter trade you have some oranges i can give you some grains and we exchange and we leave you know we don't necessarily need to have money okay and also in the black market that black market has always existed where people do things in a different way from the normal ways of uh, you know the the uh, the big market and revelation 13 verse 17 which i have read to you no one will buy or sell does not require that the beast maintain absolute control over every single transaction only that the official policy will forbid this transaction, making them illegal and punishable. Therefore, it will be more difficult. Okay? And uh, we have to understand that uh, in the final analysis, a cashless society may make it easier for a totalitarian government to control its citizens. This is a fact of human existence and does not necessarily link to the end times okay a cashless society is not an indicator that the lord return is imminent because it has always been imminent even from the time past okay and uh this is because even even believers in the time of paul they were all always encouraged and told this will happen and they were told you will have to refuse the mark you will have to you know uh, go away with the things of the devil and that was the time of the Apostle Paul, okay? I know this one is confusing, and I know many people may say, oh, but uh, right now is more. Yes, today, now is much more because uh, technology is improving so much. So we may have both ways. We may say, yes, it's to some point the cashless society is also helping us towards the end times. But still, you have to remember, the end time has not started today. The end time started back when Jesus died and he ascended to heaven that's when the end time started okay that's when the the end time started so we have to be very keen very 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 keen about that and we have to understand it okay so hope this has been able to help you understand and if you're there and you're still not saved the bible tells us about the gospel the gospel is found in first corinthians 15 1 through 4 and it's all about understanding how that Christ died for our sins. He was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Okay? So once you understand that, what is the gospel? That is the gospel. Believing in what Jesus did for us. Okay? Why did he do that? So that he can save you from sin. And if you're still there and you're a sinner and Christ died for you 2,000 years ago when you're still a sinner, all you needed is to believe and the rapture comes and you're left behind and you're left in all these troubles man it will be so so bad please get, believe the gospel after you believe that jesus died for you since he was buried and rose again if after you believe that all you need to do is just to confess to christ and tell him what you believed tell him that jesus i understand that you died for my sins you were buried and rose again and once you do that my friends you're sealed and sanctified unto the day of redemption hope this has been a blessing to you hope you've been able to understand and if uh, you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and also you can uh, share the video for others to be able to hear and subscribe to watch more videos which you post every day and likewise hit the notification bell so that whenever you post you're always the first one to get the notification and uh, get to see what you have posted because it will edify you much also in the description we have um, a couple of other channels that uh, uh, we preach in a bit shoot on Facebook and things like that. Please go and check and also share to your friends. God bless you and have a good time.